China just revealed the future of air travel, a pilotless electric air taxi that can fly 125 miles without a pilot on board. It's called the Ehang VT-35, and it just completed its first full-flight test. In this video, we'll uncover how it works, what makes it groundbreaking, and why this sleek aircraft could completely change inner-city travel forever. Ehang's VT-35 is a milestone in aviation innovation, a fully autonomous, all-electric aircraft designed for inner-city travel. Unlike earlier air taxis built for short hops, the VT-35 can fly up to 200 kilometers, about 125 miles, on a single charge. It combines vertical takeoff with airplane-style cruising, meaning it lifts off like a drone but flies like a jet. This dual capability is made possible through its lifting cruise architecture, which uses eight rotors for takeoff and landing and a single pusher propeller for forward flight. With a cruise speed of 216 kilometers per hour, about 134 miles per hour, and a maximum takeoff weight of 950 kilograms, it's built for performance and efficiency. Despite its power, the VT-35 is compact, around 8 meters long and wide, and only 3 meters tall. That small footprint allows it to take off from rooftops, parking lots, and small vertiports without needing massive new infrastructure. Inside, the two-seat cabin is sleek and futuristic, fitted with leather upholstery, ambient lighting, and a digital touchscreen interface that doubles as both dashboard and entertainment hub. Passengers can use voice and touch controls to adjust temperature, seat settings, and even route preferences. But what makes the VT-35 truly revolutionary is its autonomous flight system. Every phase of flight, takeoff, cruise, and landing is controlled by advanced onboard software that integrates multiple sensors for obstacle detection and avoidance. Redundant systems ensure safety even if one component fails. For all its excitement, the VD-35 still faces tough hurdles before it can enter daily service. The most immediate challenge is certification. China's Civil Aviation Administration has accepted a HANGS application, but approval requires hundreds of hours of flight tests, safety demonstrations, and airworthiness evaluations. Every aspect of the aircraft, its software, propulsion, navigation, and emergency response must prove it can operate reliably without a pilot. It's a long, detailed process that ensures safety but demands patience and perfection. Beyond paperwork, real-world performance will be under scrutiny. While Ehang reports a 200-kilometer range, real conditions will vary. Weather, wind resistance, payload, and battery degradation can reduce flight distance. Ensuring consistent reliability across climates and terrains is essential for passenger confidence. Infrastructure is another major challenge. Even though VT-35 can use existing vertiports built for earlier Ehang models, scaling the system to inner-city routes will require new charging stations, maintenance hubs, and safety monitoring centers. Smaller cities and mountainous regions may lack suitable landing zones, demanding coordinated development between local governments and private investors. Then there's public trust. For most travelers, boarding a fully autonomous aircraft will be a leap of faith. Ehang must demonstrate not only that its systems work, but that they can handle every possible scenario, sensor errors, power loss, or sudden weather changes without human input. Economics matter too. Each aircraft must operate frequently enough to justify its cost. Maintenance, battery replacements, and insurance all add to the bottom line. High utilization will be key to profitability. If Ehang clears those hurdles, the VD-35 could completely reshape how people think about regional travel. Its range, autonomy, and efficiency make it ideal for connecting major city clusters in under 30 minutes. Imagine taking off from a rooftop in one city and landing directly in another without highways, airports, or traffic. That's the vision behind China's growing low-altitude economy, which aims to make short-range air mobility part of everyday life. The VT-35's integration with existing EH-216 vertiports gives it a massive advantage. Rather than building new infrastructure, Ehang can scale quickly, turning today's single-city operations into multi-city networks. As these routes expand, travel that once took hours by car could shrink to minutes, unlocking new economic zones and reshaping commuting patterns across entire regions. Environmentally, the VT-35 is a symbol of clean mobility. 
Its fully electric propulsion means zero direct emissions and dramatically lower noise compared to helicopters or airplanes. This makes it suitable for densely populated urban areas and sensitive ecosystems. With each flight, it demonstrates how sustainable technology can coexist with convenience and speed. Ehang's early progress could also make China the first nation to operate large-scale fleets of autonomous passenger EVTOLs. That first mover advantage would set global benchmarks for regulation, software safety, and integration into existing air traffic systems. As other countries observe, similar frameworks could follow, accelerating worldwide adoption of aerial mobility. Beyond passengers, the VD-35 could evolve into new forms of cargo delivery, emergency medical transport, or surveillance, extending its reach beyond commercial travel. The VT-35 represents a turning point for modern mobility, a shift from imagination to implementation. It's fast, electric, and completely pilotless, aiming to make regional travel as seamless as hailing a rideshare. But before that dream takes off, Ehang must pass rigorous certification tests, build infrastructure, and earn public trust. If it succeeds, the VT-35 could transform not just how we fly, but how we live, commute, and connect across cities. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.